Hey, what is going on guys? So I have one more brief video in me and then it's on to the weekend, I swear. But this caught my eye and it really couldn't fit into the other video I did recently. I was going to try and jam it in there, but it didn't make any sense. So anyway, um, this is just something that I've seen and didn't know if anybody else saw this. I haven't seen anyone else cover this so far, so I, was, I just wanted to get it out there. And maybe some of you actually have seen this, but... I was watching the AMD kind of press release video the other day about Zen, and I obviously posted that on the channel as well because I thought a lot of you would like to see it. Anyway, it got me excited for the future of Zen processors, and with AMD showing a direct comparison of the CPU clock for clock against an Intel Broadwell e-chip and beating it. We have set both at 3 gigahertz so that we can have a clock to clock, core to core, thread-to-thread -thread comparison in Blender, you see that the Zen CPU uh, just edged out that Broadwell E processor in that demo. I was blown away and even did a number of videos going on exactly about how AMD had achieved that very substantial boost in performance over their previous generation of CPUs. And while all of that information that I covered about architectural improvements and added features of AM4, etc., all hold true I did think that I saw something a little funny, something worth a review anyway, so I tossed in the old consumer challenge flag, risking one of my timeouts, and checked the tape. Sure enough, it looked as though AMD had not explicitly said, but certainly strongly suggested, that they were giving us an apples to apples comparison, and their chip had won fair and square. Well, I do love AMD, and I do believe we're still going to see a very compelling product from them in the upcoming Zen family of CPUs, not just in Summit Ridge, but the entire product line. But still, I have to call a spade a spade when I see it. And if you look closely at the video shown by AMD, you'll notice that it appears as if the program being used, in this case, a rendering software called Blender, is being run on a different operating system on the AMD machine than the obvious Windows 10 flavor that the Intel chip is running on. So not to be too hasty, I did look into it a little bit, comparing some pictures and video of people running Blender on different operating systems, and it did look like AMD were running Blender on some form of Unix or Linux, at least on their machine during these tests. So it could have just been coincidence, I thought. But then, I'd better check it out just in case, right? So, now that I've verified what I had seen and realized Blender was running on a different operating system on the AMD hardware, I just wanted to know, is it because Blender runs better under that OS? So I Googled that as well. And when you start typing in, does Blender run better on? The most searched for and obviously most relevant result that Google comes up with is Linux. And while in this search, I did admittedly see comments from people claiming better performance on Windows as well as Linux-based operating systems, I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and install a copy of Ubuntu and run some tests for myself. But I didn't have to. It turns out that a site called Lion Render, which rents out render farm time for artists and other 3D content creators, had just done all the tests I needed to look at. So what do we find when truly comparing apples to apples, at least I presume they use the same test system for all of these tests. Uh, keep in mind I have reached out to Lion Render via their site and Twitter and await an answer on exactly what system was used here for these tests and if it was at least consistent across all of their testing, uh, which I will update you guys on that as soon as possible, obviously. But for now, let's just assume they didn't go out and buy a new computer for every test and they used the same box, simply choosing to boot to a different operating system when they turn the thing on. Well, if we do that and we take these tests for their face value, we can see that operating system to operating system, it is clearly Linux that wins out in this battle handedly every single time, with those numbers only losing out to their obviously stacked deck of using their own server farm to render whatever you may have to render. But I just wanted to point this out, and again, I hadn't seen anyone else address this, and even though I am still very excited for Zen, I don't think that these numbers are apples to apple that AMD are showing us, unfortunately. 
Of course, they were no doubt run with early samples of drivers and other essential software for what is a still in development platform with the AMD hardware. So the bottom line is, you know, things are still in development, things are not consistent, and it is still unclear as far as a true clock to clock comparison for IPC is concerned. Uh, we don't have a clear benchmark for that yet that is fair and unbiased and a really level playing field. But rest assured, uh, when it comes out, I'm sure I'll point it out, or one of you guys will point it out to me. So anyway, guys, just wanted to cover that for you real quick. Let me know what you think below in the comments if you agree with this. If it looks like a different OS to you, what else could it be? And is it possible that it's still the same performance as the Intel machine and beats it on a Windows for Windows? operating system it is possible but let me know what you guys think below hope you have a fantastic weekend i'll see you in the next one peace out